Welcome to my YouTube channel, Health Enthusiasts. In this video, we will provide a comprehensive overview of omeprazole, a topic that you may have come across previously. We will delve into the following aspects, who can and cannot take it, the common dosage, how and when to take it, what to do in case of missed doses or discontinuation, potential side effects, and frequently asked questions such as whether it can be taken with alcohol. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Without further ado, let's get started. Omeprazole is available under various branded names which include Prilosec, Zagarid, Lozic, and Omez. Omeprazole is a widely prescribed medication used to manage conditions related to stomach acid. It's essential to know how to use it safely and effectively to get the best results. First, let's understand what omeprazole is. Omeprazole is a medication designed to reduce the production of stomach acid. It is highly effective in controlling conditions where an excess of stomach acid can lead to discomfort and damage to the gastrointestinal tract. The primary mechanism of action involves inhibiting proton pumps in the stomach lining, which are responsible for acid secretion. Omeprazole is commonly used to treat conditions like gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, peptic ulcers, erosive esophagitis, and the rare Zollinger-Ellison syndrome. One of the most common applications of omeprazole is in the treatment of GERD. GERD is a chronic condition characterized by the backflow of stomach acid into the esophagus, leading to symptoms like heartburn, regurgitation, chest pain, and irritation of the esophageal lining. Omeprazole helps alleviate these symptoms by reducing stomach acid production. Omeprazole is also effective in managing peptic ulcers, including both gastric and duodenal ulcers. Decreasing acid production promotes the healing of these ulcers and prevents their recurrence. In rare cases, individuals may develop a condition known as Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, which leads to abnormally high stomach acid production. Omeprazole is prescribed to control this excessive acid secretion and manage associated symptoms. Erosive esophagitis occurs when stomach acid damages the lining of the esophagus. Omeprazole plays a vital role in healing and preventing further damage to the esophagus. So, who can take omeprazole? Omeprazole is generally considered safe for most adults and children aged one year and older. However, there are some exceptions and precautions to keep in mind. Individuals who have a known allergy to omeprazole or any of its ingredients should not take the medication. It is essential to inform your healthcare provider of any allergies before starting omeprazole. Certain medical conditions may influence whether omeprazole is a suitable option for you. Always consult with your healthcare provider if you have liver disease. Omeprazole is metabolized by the liver, so liver dysfunction can affect its processing. Other significant medical conditions. Your healthcare provider will consider your overall health when prescribing omeprazole. Let's talk about the proper way to take omeprazole and the correct dosages. Omeprazole is available in capsules or tablets containing either 10, 20, or 40 mg of the medication. Liquid omeprazole is labeled as either 2 mg per 1 ml or 4 mg per 1 ml. The typical adult dosage for indigestion is 10 to 20 mg per day. For heartburn, the recommended dose is 20 to 40 mg per day. For stomach ulcers, the standard dosage is 20 to 40 mg per day, or more if necessary. If you have liver problems, your dosage will likely be lower, and your healthcare provider will determine your individual dosage based on your clinical needs. Your doctor may increase your omeprazole dosage if it is not effective, and depending on the reason for taking it, you may need a higher initial dose for the first few weeks, but then your doctor may suggest lowering your dosage. Now moving on now let's discuss how and when to take omeprazole. Swallow the capsule or tablet whole. Do not crush, chew, or break it. The medication is designed to be released slowly in the stomach. Take with or without food. Omeprazole can be taken with or without meals, depending on your preference. However, some individuals may experience better results when taken before a meal. Use a glass of water. Drink a full glass of water when taking the medication to ensure it reaches the stomach. If you have difficulty swallowing capsules or tablets, your healthcare provider may recommend an alternative method. Granules. You can open the omeprazole capsule and sprinkle the granules over a small amount of soft food, such as applesauce or yogurt. Consume the mixture immediately without chewing the granules. Afterward, drink a glass of water to ensure you've taken the full dose. What if you miss a dose or want to stop taking omeprazole? It's crucial to follow your healthcare provider's instructions regarding when and for how long you should take omeprazole. Typically, the medication is taken once daily, either in the morning or evening, consistently at the same time each day. 
the duration of treatment varies depending on the condition being treated. But if purchased over the counter, it can be taken for up to 14 days. It is best to consult your healthcare provider if symptoms persist for more than 14 days. Some individuals may need short-term relief, while others may require long-term management. If you forget to take a dose of omeprazole, follow these guidelines. Take it as soon as you remember. If you realize you missed a dose, take it as soon as possible. Skip if close to the next dose. If it's near the time for your next scheduled dose, skip the missed dose and continue with your regular dosing schedule. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Do not stop taking omeprazole abruptly without consulting your healthcare provider. Your healthcare provider or a pharmacist will provide guidance on when and how to safely discontinue the medication, especially if you've been taking it for an extended period. Abruptly stopping omeprazole can lead to a rebound increase in stomach acid production and worsen your symptoms. Now, let's talk about potential side effects. While omeprazole is generally considered safe and well-tolerated, like all medications, it can have side effects. It's essential to be aware of these potential side effects and report any unusual or severe reactions to your healthcare provider. Common side effects include headaches, nausea, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and gas. Rare but serious side effects include severe allergic reactions, Clostridium difficile infection, and a possible increased risk of bone fractures. It's crucial to report any unusual or severe reactions to your healthcare provider. They can assess the risks and benefits and make necessary adjustments. Lastly, let's address some common questions about omeprazole. Can you take omeprazole with alcohol? Is it safe during pregnancy or while breastfeeding? Can it interact with other medications? These are crucial questions, and we've got answers. Moderate alcohol consumption is generally considered safe when taking omeprazole. However, excessive alcohol use can increase the risk of certain side effects, such as liver problems, and may exacerbate stomach-related issues. It's advisable to limit alcohol intake while taking this medication. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, it's crucial to consult your healthcare provider or a pharmacist before taking omeprazole. While omeprazole is sometimes prescribed during pregnancy or breastfeeding, your healthcare provider will assess the potential risks and benefits and may suggest alternative treatments or adjustments. Omeprazole has the potential to interact with certain medications, affecting their effectiveness or safety. It is essential to inform your healthcare provider or a pharmacist about all the medications, supplements, and herbal products you are taking. They can evaluate potential interactions and adjust your treatment plan if necessary. Long-term use of omeprazole should be monitored by a healthcare provider due to potential risks, such as decreased magnesium levels and bone fractures. Your healthcare provider will regularly assess your condition and adjust treatment as needed. It's essential to discuss the duration of treatment with your healthcare provider. Long-term use of omeprazole may reduce the absorption of certain nutrients, such as vitamin B12, calcium, and magnesium. If you are on long-term omeprazole therapy, your healthcare provider may recommend monitoring and supplementation if necessary. By understanding these key points, you can make informed decisions about your healthcare and medication. That wraps up our comprehensive guide to omeprazole. We hope this video has provided you with a clear understanding of this medication and its uses. Always consult your healthcare provider for personalized advice and treatment plans tailored to your needs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more informative content. Thanks for watching.